Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to get user input and then validate it using Kotlin. So this tutorial is designed to work with my other validation tutorials, where I show you how to validate a variable. But you might be thinking, but Max, how do I get the user input and then give it to that validation function? And I'm going to show you right now. So if you're in Android Studio, this isn't going to work. I'm going to show you how to get user input from the console. But don't worry, I'll cover what you want to know in a future tutorial. So basically, we in our main function, we have got a print line statement and it says, please enter your name. So we can do val user input to create a variable and it's going to store the user input and then we can do equals read line. So basically we're going to read the line and whatever that is, it's going to be stored in our user input variable. And when we have a read line, that's going to let the user type stuff into the console and then when they hit enter, we store what's on that line into this variable, which is all good. So now what I've done here is I've made a validation function. It's called fun validate input name colon string colon boolean. And then we have a return name.length is greater than five. This is just a function to demonstrate how we can get the user input into this fun into a function. This you can literally swap this with any of my validation tutor tutorials. There's an eye up in the corner with a playlist full of them. But basically name colon string is just going to be the parameter and then we're going to just check if the length is greater than five and we're going to return that to where we call the function and it's a boolean because it returns a true or a false so how do we use this how do we use this validation function and our user input to do something meaningful so we can use an if statement so what we can do is we could do if validate input user input double equals true now you can actually get rid of double equals true to have the same meaning but as you're probably new to kotlin i'm gonna keep it like this to make it more readable don't worry this isn't bad to do if you want to do it this way we do if comp bracket the name of our validation function then we put user input in the brackets which is where we're storing our user input then we can do double equals true bracket. Then we do a curly bracket. We do something that we want to do if the user input is valid. So we're going to print a line. Then we do a curly bracket. Then we do an else, another curly bracket. And then in here, we do whatever we want to do if the input is not valid or invalid. So we can do invalid name, get good scrub. Then you do another curly bracket. And that's basically how you use my validation tutorials with getting user input. So we're going to hit control S and then hit play. So it's asking us to enter our name. We're going to enter Max O Diddly. And then once we've typed it, we hit enter and it says valid name, thanks. That's very polite. Now let's hit play again. But let, let, let's say we just put max. Well, it says invalid name get good scrub because max o diddly was considered valid because it was greater than five characters long, but max isn't greater than five characters long. That's why it did the true or false, but obviously you can put in whatever validation you want. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials. Thanks for watching.